Like, if this is if, if this is part of a duchy, obviously, and it's also a county itself, I don't care to go through the individual little castles and stuff and figure out, oh, is this mayor somebody I don't want to anger? First of all, this is a defensive war, so the vassals don't get angry at me raising their troops. It's a defensive war. Um, uh, instead of at Sana, you could have troops... Uh, y your troops could have been at uh, Nadran and got them out instead disbanding them. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, that's still not really useful to me. That'd be relocating a piddly amount of troops that would not change the flow of battle. I'm not really concerned about that. Alright, uh, they're coming in there. We're in a bit of an awkward situation. I'd like to just lump up all my troops if possible and have a death stack. Because my death stack's bigger than their death stack. At the same time, is he just going to march on us right away here? Because if he's not gonna, then I want to just walk across there. But if he's going to, I'm just going to emergency boat out. Because I don't want to confront him in smaller numbers. He's going to just try and pick us off. So we're going to just see. Where is he going? He's going to a den. So he is going to try to attack. Well, fuck that then. I'm just going to boat out of there. Yeah, have, have fun going to Aden. Uh, and I could go up there and boat these guys over, or at least a good chunk of them. Do I want to do that right now, though? I think what I'd rather do... ...is... Yeah, I like this idea more. Just grab whoever will take the boat there. Bring them up here into our death stack, and then use that to create our opening. That'll be more than enough troops. There we go. That's that's a good amount of troops. And I'm happy with these commanders. Let's move in. And these guys will just get into position for future use. I'm not going to wait up for that little group. I mean, fuck it if they're already there. go. Militia training ground done. Cool. And I could board them and just drop them here for future use. Actually, I could just drop them there because he's actually running away. Okay. I will do that. There we go. And I will... Mm, that was a misclick. I will put down the boats. Oh no, it's got to be in a safer port. How is that not a safe enough port? Due to not being in a friendly port, you're in a friendly port. Okay, go to that friendly port. Alright, that was a massacre. I really don't like him looting Aden, because that's actually a pretty wealthy place. Lost my Imam. Alright, well you can just dock until the war is over then. Court Chaplain, we don't have an amazing backup. I mean, this guy's only slightly better, but we'll take him, even if he's lustful. We'll take Rasputin here. This port called me names. Yeah, it's not a friendly port. Alright, you're the imam. It's just here. You are ineligible. I will just take this random man then. I don't care. Man, we've been converting these places insanely slowly. We used to do it so fast. But yeah, this guy doesn't stand a chance. We have him so drastically outnumbered. Uh, minor title of... Uh, what is this? A new chief? Sure. And that war is over. Fuck this guy. I can only ransom you for ten bucks. You're going in the pit. Could recruit him. But he has a uh, broken spirit now, right? Oh no, he actually doesn't. Abandoned by the commoners, though. Um, he's an adventurer. He's not very talented. I don't want to recruit him. Yeah, in the pit. Alright, back to just having the retinue again. Alright, uh, my marshal tells me one of my commanders has improved significantly. Nice. 
Two to three martial skill, gain a little prestige. We're at six and a half thousand prestige. I'm, we're starting to gain so fast that I'm genuinely starting to think there is a chance I will become an emperor right before I die. I'm 60, so it's still unlikely. But I'm the Sultan of Hij uh, Hijaz, Abyssinia, and Yemen. That's three Sultanates, which Sultanate is a kingdom level title. If you have three kingdoms and you have 8,000 prestige, you can declare yourself an empire, which would be so nice because then I can have kings under me. And so I can start making claims on stuff like, oh, I don't know, the entire Sultanate of Egypt get in one go. Don't forget to remove your commander from uh, the right new. Right, thank you. The reminder, usually I remember to do that, uh, but today I am incompetent. There we go. We do have retinues reinforcing at full speed, right? Yeah, good. Because we got the money to do that now, so we may as well. I just want to make sure they're always prepared, you know? Wearing reports my marshal has been using soldiers to extort money. Fuck's sake. Is he a good one? He's a really good one. I will deal with this later. I hate that when that happens, but, you know. Okay, money's good. What do we want to upgrade next? Man, we can really get a lot of troops out of this castle. It's crazy. Local tax modifier down 50% for peasant unrest for two years. At least two years isn't that long. Okay, everything in there is upgrading. Hey, what can we do in Jeddah right now? Because Jeddah's a pretty nice end. Finally! Yeah, the tech spread to it enough that I can get new castle walls. Absolutely, that's money and lots of shit. I do think I want to consider building more cities and castles and temples and whatnot in Jeddah soon, because Jeddah's a really good county with a lot of potential. Not just because a Royal Rumble occurred there in 2018, and I gotta make sure it's prepared for that, uh, but also because it's coastal and uh, it's along the Silk Road. It's, it doesn't have a trade route. It can't get a trade route unless you're a Merchant Republic, unfortunately, but it is along the Silk Road, so it does get tax modifiers for that, which is really nice. And because it's along the water, the cities will have ports, and the ports will get tax income, so it's just got that little bit more money-earning potential than it otherwise would if it were landlocked. Uh, you can just give the Sultanate of Abyssinia to your heir, uh, if you become an Emperor level title. I mean, I could for prestige stacking reasons, although the prestige stack can be less important by then, because the only reason I really want to prestige stack that hard right now is just because I I want to make sure I have enough prestige for to become an emperor, and I'm worried that uh, that uh, Abdul Wahab will be dead before he has that prestige, and so I got to make sure my son has a lot of prestige so that he might be able to do it during his lifetime. But it is actually quite tempting to start building a castle or a city or a temple or something here. Um. Let me just look at my personal holdings here again. It's not this, right? No, that's just a shockingly similar color. I do have my island out here, which doesn't have much room to build, unfortunately. Uh, but I could upgrade more. The technology is starting to catch up here enough that I could get more troops out here. Although it's always a bitch to get troops off of this island. I more care about money upgrades there, because it does have a port. Um, a den is more convenient, and a den also has a lot of building slots. Same amount as Mecca, actually. So I probably will want to upgrade that more. I wouldn't mind more castle fortifications in Aden. I need to rebuild the fort there, because they did siege it down instantly. Your vacation island built a summer home. Uh, I think I will actually get castle fortifications there for the sake of not letting it get raided so easily, because that is valuable land right there. I know castle fortifications are usually something I really drag my feet on, because it's just not as useful as having a standing army. Um, but it's not like it isn't useful. Son was born, okay, to some people. And, yeah, forts, forts, forts. I don't know why it needs to, like, have a separate thing here just for forts. I might actually take that off. Yeah, I can take that off here. Navies, blah, blah, blah. Council. Why would I ever want my council on there? I don't think that'd be particularly useful. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I never really messed around with that too much. 
Uh, right, I don't want to... Do I want to build a hospital there? Actually, with all my bonuses, it's not that expensive to just build a base hospital and do nothing with it. To the point that I think I just will. I'm going to build a hospital in Medina. I'm probably not going to upgrade it much for a little while. Um, you know, just for technology and stuff. But I wouldn't mind really having good medical care here. Uh, just have a shitload of hospitals, you know? Do I have a hospital in every bit of land that I personally own? At this point? Yeah, the only the only county that didn't have a hospital is this one, and we're building one right now. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. We have a sick house there already. Soup kitchen is piety. Resistance. Just reminding myself of what I can and can't build in these places. Yeah. Unfortunately, technology is what's holding it back right now. And the technology holding it back is... It needs level 3 construction. What level of construction does it have? Has uh, level 2, almost level 3. In Jeddah. Medina's a little behind that. Aden is behind... The island is very close, actually. For whatever reason, that island gets tech pretty fast. Does it have just a city full of... It has a school for ec no, uh, economic technology points and tech spread. But that's still just one, you know? Um, yeah, city, cities. I think I actually want to. I'm, I, I'm actually at the point where I seriously think I want to drop the money on building that second school in Mecca just for the sake of the technology spread being really good and a little bit of economic technology points, which do pay for themselves in the long run. Because economic technology, I consider to be the most important. Because that's getting you new buildings faster than other people. And, I mean, if your country is more developed than the next guy, you're a better country. It's very powerful. Oops. Let's click. Your brother uh, has become decadent. Fucking straighten up. He's not going to straighten up. <laughs> Gray eminence for some Gortair. Cool. I'm better negotiator than this. Uh, he understands that he's living a life of haram and assured me to commit to changing his ways. Okay. We've convinced him to straighten up at least as one less guy causing decadence issues. Good. Wonder how strong you can get from that tiny island of yours if it was only one province. I have heard you can actually be pretty powerful coming out of that island because it starts as an independent island. Um, however... You will have issues of, uh... You'll have issues of you can't build much. It only has three building slots. And they're all built there by default. Um, so that's a problem. Now, there is a random event that I think might be tied to business focus, but I'm not 100% sure on that. That gives you more, um... What was it? That gives you more building slots, or at least an ability to spend money to get more building slots. I want that to happen in Mecca. I really desperately want that final building slot in Mecca. I could get so many troops and income out of that. It'd be awesome. You have a sexy motherfucking voice. That came out of fucking nowhere. Dab. I don't trust you, memory dump. I've never trusted you. <laughs> One day I'll get stabbed in the back and I know it'll be you. I'll turn around and it'll just be like a computer monitor, an old PC monitor with a knife. You're going to be hanging me off the ledge of a cliff. And you're saying, you remember when I said you had a sexy voice? I lied. Then you dropped me off the cliff. I'd say points to anybody who gets the reference, but it's more so shame on anybody who doesn't. I don't want you. I don't trust this fucker. He's not gonna stay. This guy's kind and deceitful, but kind, but deceitful and lustful, but kind. I'll take him. Castle fortification's done. Nice. Alright. Study some technology in Constantinople. Man, who wouldn't want to be? A, uh, if you're in the Muslim world, who the fuck wouldn't want to be a spy master for me? You just get to vacation in Constantinople your whole life. That's pretty awesome. Easily one of the best cities in the world at the time. Oh, God, the only thing better is if I sent you off to China. It's the most developed country in the world at this point in history. Okay. 
can't even tell if Bl Blast Call Dragon says Terminator. I can't even tell if you're joking. Sesta uh. says, I'd love to do it. Can I have this job? I don't think you exist. I think you died. All right, uh, Militia Quarters done in Medina. Nice. The hospital's halfway constructed. I think I just want more archers. It's real cheap to get them, too. What about Egypt? I don't know. What about Egypt? Um, we can't declare war on them yet, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, you know what? Their leader died. That's why. I totally forgot that would finish the truce. The truce with the leader, not with the country. Okay, uh, we could declare again. Let me just take a look at what our claims are. Uh, there is some dumb bullshit we could claim. Come on, who here is a vassal of mine, though? I could claim on behalf of a whole lot of people who aren't my vassals. Uh, I could make them a tributary state, which I'm not really that interested in doing. I'd rather just full-on call it a conquest. I have plenty of piety for the war. Okay, uh, so I border these three. Which one's the richest? Probably this one. By far, this one's the richest has a decent amount of potential for building, and it shouldn't be along the Silk Road, right? Yeah, it is not even close to Silk Road, but this is the best county that we could take from them if we're just taking an individual county. Is Egypt split in half, says Marinari? I don't think so. No, uh, Egypt is about the same as they were last time we looked at them. They lost a lot of their northern territory quite a while ago to the Shia uprising. The Shia have been conquering a lot less now that they don't have their crazy event spawn army. They're still quite powerful, mind you. Um, but they're not ridiculous like they used to be. Like, I'm richer than them. And I have more troops than them at this point. Not a ton more troops, but more troops. And they're likely to be in wars all the time. To the point that I'm actually considering just declaring on them soon. Because if I holy war them, what the fuck are they going to do about it? People are going to side with me, not them. I could holy war them from all th for all this land, get that back that they took from me. I could holy war them for that little peninsula, which I believe is quite crap. Isn't it? Yeah, three of the four counties there are really bad, and the only one with any wealth to it only has three building slots, so it doesn't have a ton of potential. And it's not even touching my land, whereas this here, um, again, also not great land, and it is less land, it's only three counties, but it's easy to defend, it's near my land, it's in between me and Egypt, and I want that Egyptian land. And, god, it would be harder for the enemies to get their troops down here. If I declare on them now, um, I mean, what are they going to do about it? They're busy in another war, too. And if it's a holy war, they're fighting the Western Protectorate right now. And I got to tell you, any war you're going to have with the Western Protectorate's not easy. The Western Protectorate are badasses. They have the backing of China. Who? he doesn't have many troops left, though. Mm, Western Protectorate's falling apart a little. I think I will actually declare this war, though. This is looking like an easy win for me. Especially if more people join in on the Holy War. I can actually do three Holy Wars here. Oh, I can do it for Arabia, which is just these two, which I lost forever ago. Those aren't very good, are they? Uh, you know what? They're actually good counties. Especially this one is very wealthy. Um, but I think I still want this land more. Yeah, I'll take that land. Yeah. Nearby Shia might uh, join in the defense of their faith. That's fine. He's the only Shia ruler. Anyone they get, it might be like a count or a duke or something that I really don't need to worry about. Um, now, this isn't of their army, is it? No. No, it's not. These are just some random guys of somewhere else. Probably the guys he's fighting, in fact. All right, we're declaring... All right, we've declared. Raise the troops. I'm raising everything. I'm not taking risks here. Oh, hey, they actually had dudes walking through our lands just by happenstance. Uh, well, shit. We're taking a little damage for that. But 
Let's just immediately march on them, because we can beat their ass while they're there. In a Palpatine voice, do it. God damn it. Alright. Get some boats ready, obviously, because it's the quickest way to get across the river. 